The battle for Bakhmut tramped up after Russian troops withdrew from the city of Kherson last month. Capturing the region would provide the Russian army with a morale boost following a string of military defeats elsewhere in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has spoken out against Russian craziness in its efforts to capture Bakhmut. This is where the craziness of the Russian command is most evident, Zelensky said in late October. Day after day, for months, they are driving people to their deaths there, concentrating the highest level of artillery strikes. Russia's Wagner Group has breached Ukrainian lines to take control of the eastern portion of the city of Bakhmut, according to an assessment by the Institute for the Study of War. The eastern town has been targeted by Russian President Vladimir Putin's troops for months, without much success. Leading the fight in Bakhmut are fighters recruited by the notorious mercenary unit, the Wagner Group, which was founded by Putin Ali Evgeny Prigazin. On Tuesday, Wagner Group forces broke through Ukrainian defensive lines in the eastern part of Bakhmut and established full control of the Bakhmut Champagne Winery and Siniat Enterprise, the ISW said, citing the pro-Russian telegram channel Riber. Riber reported on Tuesday that Russian assault groups are also advancing to the northeast of Bakhmut, while claiming that the command of Ukraine's armed forces are carrying out an emergency rotation of personnel to maintain combat capability. Russian mill bloggers also claim that Russian troops are advancing down several streets in the southeastern and eastern sectors of Bakhmut, the ISW noted. Meanwhile, Ukrainian forces have attacked a hotel where members of Russia's brutal private Wagner military group were based, killing many, a local leader has claimed. Sarai Gaidai, the governor of the Russian-occupied Luhansk region, told Ukrainian television that forces launched a strike on a hotel in the town of Kadyivka, in the east of the country, on Saturday. It comes as Ukrainian officials have also claimed that as many as 200 Russian troops have been killed or wounded in a missile strike in the occupied city of Melitopol. But Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said yesterday that the situation remains very difficult in several frontline cities in eastern Ukraine's Donetsk and Luhansk provinces. Mr. Gaidai, who has previously reported strikes by Ukrainian forces on other targets in the Luhansk region, did not give casualty figures for the incident in Kadyivka, but he said those surviving faced inadequate medical services to treat them. I am sure that at least 50% of those who manage to survive will die before they get medical care, he said. This is because even in our Luhansk region, they have stolen equipment. Today, new video reportedly shows a Ukrainian tank blowing up a Russian tank in a single shot as the two sides fight in one of the country's annexed regions. The video was posted on Twitter by Ukraine Weapons Tracker, a joint account run by Caliber Obscura and Armobi Bazaar, and shows a Ukrainian T-64V of the 92nd Mechanized Brigade destroying a Russian T-72B series tank in Novoselovsk in the Luhansk Oblast. In the clip, tanks face off from long distances on a straightaway. The Ukrainian T-64V blows up the opposition tank in one shot, causing an eruption of flames, and takes another shot nearly 20 seconds later. The Ukraine Ministry of Defense did tweet the same video, crediting the 92nd Mechanized Brigade. In recent weeks, most of the fighting has taken place in the east of the country, especially around the city of Bakhmut in the Donetsk region. But on Saturday night, Alexei Aristovich, an advisor to President Zelensky, indicated that Melito Paul could be a main target of Ukrainian forces. 
If Melito Paul falls, the entire defense line all the way to Kursan collapses, he said in an interview. If that happened, he added, Ukrainian forces would gain a direct route to Crimea, the peninsula Russia annexed in 2014, and that the Ukrainians have vowed to retake. Elsewhere, the Russian-occupied city of Donetsk in eastern Ukraine came under fresh bombardment on Sunday. Images showed firefighters attempting to put out a blaze at a commercial building. Ukraine has denied attacking the separatist run city on many occasions during the war. Meanwhile, Melito Paul has been raised as the Ukrainian military's next possible target following a series of dramatic offensives to liberate Russian-held territory so far this winter. The town has been rocked by a string of explosions in recent days targeting Russian troops and supply lines, which have been credit to the Ukrainian army. Defense and security analyst Professor Michael Clark told Sky News, in the last few days there have been a number of explosions around Melitopol. Sabotage of the key bridge over the M47 highway, that main highway that runs all the way to Kursan. Attacks on Wagner troop bases around the area of Melitopol. The view of most analysts is the Ukrainians are engaged here with shaping the battlefield. They are doing in Melitopol what they did in Kursan, which is prepare the battlefield by cutting off Russian logistics. He added, now Russian troops are getting thinner and thinner on the ground. The speculation is Ukraine might use their second and fourth armies. These are brigade size. They call them armies, but they have a number of brigades who are in reserve. They might use those forces to push down from Zaporizhia right down to Melitopol on the coast. In other words, to open up a third front in this series of offensives over the winter.